Uh, hello everyone, this is another uh, Abacus tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to determine the uh, backlink of a column. So we uh, have uh, learned the lateral torsional backlink of the beam, uh, which is this, this one. And we have modeled a beam and then applied a uniform distributed load on the top of the beam. And then we uh, found how this load affect the beam to back all laterally. So this is the first mode, and you can see, obviously, there is backlink in the first lateral. The second is uh, including uh, backhaul or bending with small uh, torsion. And the third one is combine of two and three. Well, this is very uh, critical phenomena, and uh, mostly we uh, pro we should prevent during the designing a structure. So we used uh, some sort of lateral support to uh, prevent this problem. Now uh, we will use the same model, but uh, we will reduce the length of the beam and change it to column. And we want to conduct uh, a backlink analysis to determine the backlink load of a uh, column so let me delete this one and we have this model the model is very uh, i section simple i section and i can go to edit here is uh, 200 meter i uh, a length and about 30 60 is height 20 millimeter both thickness or bots so uh, I assume this is a compact section which required a very large action force to back up in case the most of time the column is has uh, the weight and height of the section is equal or mostly equal uh, so for the simplicity I use this section I want a copy of this model with the same with the same data. So I want to copy this model, which previously modeled. You can check the beam lateral torsional uh, in Abacus, and I call it uh, column. Backlink. Now in the column backlink, I will go to back to the this section and I want to reduce the length of the this section. So it was five thousand. Now I want to change to three thousand millimeter or three meter. In the property, we already defined one material. This is the density of material, and this is the elasticity, and this is the plasticity of the material. Next, we created a section solid homogeneous and the same material, and then we assigned to this I section. We go to the assembly, and we want we already brought this and I want to rotate using this axis is at a minus 90 degree and this is looks like a column so next we go to that step so the same method which we will define backlink analysis and request a 10 moves and giving a 200 or 100 iteration to finish that 10 mode we don't need to create any output here automatically they will show us the displacement and we go to interaction so for the loading uh, so as we know the column will backhaul during the axial force and the moment impact is very less so in case you can consider the moment as well but that 90 percent or 85 percent effect is from the axial force so I create two coupling, coupling, and I before that I want to create one center of 
mass here and I want to define a reference point. Then I want to use coupling method, coupling method to couple this point across this, this surface. So that means the displacement, the displacement or the loading system is concentrically applied to this the column, to this column. And okay, and one in the bottom using this option and adding one reference point. And the second, I want to use coupling and selecting this point and selecting the node. Node, I use node, you can use surface, but mostly the node is perfect okay we finished in the coupling interaction part we put the loot so now in the, this is the previous one so we want to change this mostly this is so we suppose this is the first floor mostly has a hinge connection or fixed connection if I suppose this is the in connection so I will select u1 u2 u3 and going to select that point instead of that surface in the same which is the connection here is totally fixed because we have the lateral connection which we preventing from the rotation as well but except the loading direction so we were the upper column will uh, have in transfer the loads to the bottom so we suppose that u2 is open so now select this and using that point okay this one should be the bottom uh, yeah, this one should be the top and this one should be the bottom which we change again selecting the bottom and using a pin connection or fix the edge connection so now we create it and next we want to apply a concentrated loot to that point as a call it backlink loot so this is a backlink loot just be using a concentrated force in that point in case if i give a large number so the eigenvalue will reduce if I give a uh, 1 so then the eigenvalue increased so that eigenvalue times this then we will get the uh, backlink loot so I give in u2 minus 1 in this direction previously we have called loot and I'm gonna delete that one so now we have in case if you want to consider the some movement you can add movement in that direction in one any direction x y z and you can see the impacts on the loading on the backlink but i already did some uh, studies uh, that the movement for the backlink doesn't have any effect when you check the the uh, euler formula so there is just only critical load or actual load so now we go to the mesh and we create a mesh in part create a mesh this this gave 20 and assign the mesh and we finished we go to that job and i want to give that job called column buckle ac buckle actual which is it means using the actual force Now we submit it and we will wait to see uh, it's very fast and it's soft and I'm gonna see the result and here is the result and this is the column and the uh, eigenvalue is about uh, uh, 500 55 uh, power of 10 so this is the first mode check 
the first moon shape you can see mostly back coins in the uh, in the flange because large area and the second is uh, wave uh, sorry wave and flange we can go to the second mode and we can see as much as the load is increased we have large deformation now uh, in a in the second step you can consider the, the moment let's suppose here we want to create a moment in one direction this is moment and I'm called MB now we select the same point and using direction Z so it is one now we can go back and submit this called moment moment back home in case if you give them just a moment you will not see the the program will not solve and it will tell you the uh, negative matrix or the matrix cannot solve it's no because the moment will not cause the battling but it will cause some rotational or torsional uh, this analysis also completed and I want to create two window and one more and I'm going to create two and this one is uh, uh, let me uh, go to uh, open uh, from this one actual force and this is from the existing one so the data is same so that means so that means the moment didn't affect for the backlink of the column or not contributed to the backlink of the column. Uh, so this is uh, the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will see uh, to find time and answer your question. And this uh, work is done based on this uh, Professor uh, Power Books and it's 271 uh, page 371 and you can download this book and you can see how we can get the column uh, yeah effective effect on lateral load analysis which mostly we focusing on the backlink of column Yes, P delta stability and effect. So you can uh, check here, it is uh, 71, page 71, and here is called Freeman column backlink. So, uh, see you next time.